Hi guys, what I've done today is I've compiled all the different equations you need to learn for the IGCSE physics and also there's a lot of overlap with the GCSE physics so a lot of this is going to be relevant for those students as well. First thing that comes up in the syllabus is the speed distance time triangle. So if you want to know speed, distance, divided by time. Okay. Next up is Huck's law. And that is the force on a spring uh, is equal to the spring constant times by the extension, the amount the spring has been stretched by. Definitely going to come up the kinetic energy equation where you've got kinetic energy in joules a half times m, make sure it's in kilograms, and then you've got v squared. So velocity is meters per second, so you're doing meters per second times meters per second, so just be aware of that. Next up, another classic, gravitational potential energy. Again, of course, it's an energy, so it's going to be in joules. Uh, mass, make sure it's in kilograms. If they give you grams, divided by a thousand to get into kilograms. Gravitational potential uh, uh, sorry, gravitational acceleration here. Uh, it's meters per second squared. It's normally 9.81 uh, on planet Earth. They could give you a different planet, you never know. And finally, the height at which the object falls through has to be in meters. Efficiency, another IGCSE classic equation. Efficiency, it's got no units, it's just a percentage. It's the useful energy output divided by the total energy input, and then just to turn it into a percentage, you times it by 100. The work done equation, work done is equal to the force, which is in newtons, times the distance, which is in meters. And work done, remember, it's an energy, it's the energy transferred, so it's got the unit joules. Okay, next up, the power equation, now, what is the unit of power? Uh, sorry, that's a very bad joke. What are the unit of power? That's equal to the energy transferred, which is, you know, uh, the work done. It's an energy, so it's in joules, divided by the time taken, which is in seconds, guys. If they gave you hours or if they gave you minutes, even days possibly, make sure you absolutely must convert into seconds. Next up, it's the pressure equation, and pressure which is in newtons per meter squared, is equal to the force in newtons divided by the area in meters squared. Okay, this is the uh, pressure in a liquid, where you buy, you can find the pressure at any depth inside the liquid. Uh, I've actually got a derivation for the A level in the A level section if you really want to know where this equation comes from. Uh, so here's the pressure at our whatever depth we're going to. That's in Newtons per meter squared. Also, that's called Pascals. Now, this symbol here, it looks very like a P, but it's not. It's called Rho, and it actually means density. It's the symbol for density. Density is kilograms per meters cubed. Uh, so make sure you uh, don't mistake that for a P. It is a Rho. Next up, times by gravitational acceleration in meters per second uh, per second and uh, then finally the height at which the out object is dropped measured in meters okay another classic IGCSE equation the wave speed uh, in meters per second is equal to the frequency multiplied by the wavelength now frequency it's either going to be in Hertz or per second they are equivalent uh, and wavelength will be in meters if it's really not in meters, just make sure you convert. If they gave you centimeters, divide by 100. If they gave you millimeters, divide by 1,000. The refractive index uh, equation, if you're asked to find out the refractive index, it's the sine of the angle of incidence divided by the sine of the angle of refraction. So just, uh, just remember, refractive index here is the sine of the, uh, the angle of incidence divided by the sine of the angle of refraction. Okay, uh, the current equation. Current is equal to the, the charge passing a certain point in your wire divided by the time taken. Again, charge is in coulombs. Uh, amps is current. Time must be in seconds. Uh, the classic Ohm's law equation, and that is that uh, 
the voltage is equal to current times by resistance or if they're asking you to work out the resistance you just do voltage divided by current voltage the units of volts current in amps if they gave you milliamps make sure you divide by a thousand to get into amps and then uh, resistance is in ohms uh, now those are this is the second power equation but this is power to do with electricity again it's the same power I mean it still is measured in watts or joules per second it's just you calculate it in a different way you've got current which is in amps multiplied by voltage in volts will give you the power in watts okay this is the energy transferred it's a slight manipulation of the previous equation where if you think uh, if you had power you multiplied it by time and in fact this is the equation that would come out so E is the energy transferred over a given time uh, I is current uh, in amps V for volts and then finally uh, time has to be in seconds Oh, a lovely little transformer equation now this here is the voltage in the primary coil normally the coil on the left uh, but it's basically the input voltage this is the output voltage here uh, if this voltage is higher than this is uh, this is voltage it's a step down if this voltage is lower than this one it's a step up and then the number of turns on the primary here number of turns on the secondary often Cambridge will not give you one you have to rearrange this equation and then uh, find the unknown the second trans uh, transformer equation this is to do with the uh, the, the idea that a transform is 100% efficient and if you look here we've got V for voltage times by current well that is power so this equation is telling you that the power in to a transformer is equal to the power out of a transformer and then Cambridge will always you, the questions Cambridge will give you you'll always assume that a hundred percent of the power going in is equal to the hundred percent of the power going out that's it guys we are done now just go through these and learn them